Hey guys, Mish here, and today I am finally answering a question that a bunch of you have asked, which is, do nuts cause weight gain? As you may know from all the videos I've been doing here, in general, eating high-carb, low-fat foods is your best bet for weight loss. But more and more studies are coming out showing that eating whole food plant-based, so any kind of unprocessed plant foods, including nuts, is also very good for weight loss. So nuts are kind of in this weird in-between position where they're not low fat, so they don't fit into a high carb, low fat diet, but they are a whole unprocessed plant-based food. And of course, I looked for a bunch of studies to answer this question for you, because that's what I do here. And I was really surprised by how many studies there actually are on this. So first, I'm just gonna really briefly give you the main results from a bunch of studies on tree nuts. So that includes pecans, walnuts, and almonds. And then I'm gonna tell you about peanuts, because they're kind of their own category, because they're legumes, but they still get counted as nuts in culinary settings. And then I'm going to answer a burning question that I know a lot of vegans out there have, which is what about nut butters? And then I'm gonna tell you why nuts do what they do to your weight. And then I'm gonna give you some advice on how you should incorporate nuts into your diet based on all this science I'm gonna tell you about. And I would just like to start by saying that nuts are very healthy for you. All these studies said nuts are great for you and that's why they wanted to see if nuts cause weight gain because they're good for cardiovascular health, they're good for insulin resistance, they help reduce triglycerides and reduce high cholesterol, and walnuts have a ton of omega-3, so eating nuts is a really good idea for your health. But the question is, is eating nuts a good idea if you want to lose weight or not gain weight? So first, I found a bunch of studies that looked at pecans, walnuts, and almonds. So all the researchers did in most of these studies was just tell participants to eat a bunch of nuts without any other instructions. So for example, one study told participants to eat an extra 500 calories a day of pecans and not change anything else about their usual diet, really, they just instructed them, eat an extra 500 calories of pecans, which to translate for you guys is about 45 pecan halves or about oh, a little over half a cup of chopped pecans. And what the researchers found was that people ended up overeating by 300 calories per day on average. So they naturally reduced the rest of their diet intake a little bit in order to fit in those 500 calories of pecans. But in the end, they still overate by 300 calories. But guess what? They didn't gain any weight. And another study found the same thing with walnuts. So they gave participants a ton of extra calories of walnuts per day. Participants ended up eating more calories than they were expending, and they still didn't gain any weight. And both of these studies were over the course of eight to 10 weeks. So this was a long time where people were overeating consistently by 300 calories a day and still did not gain any weight because most of that was coming from nuts. And then just to phrase it a little bit differently, a study in almonds found that over the course of 10 weeks, people should have gained seven pounds of body fat based on how much they were overeating per day, but they didn't gain anything. There's a lot of other studies that have looked at the effects of tree nuts on weight gain and almost all of them find no weight gain. In the few studies that did find some weight gain, it was always really small. So like only about 10% or less of what participants should have gained based on how much they were overeating per day. And so just like with the carb overeating studies I've shown you on this channel, seems like nuts are another great example of how calories in versus calories out just does not work, does not explain people's weight gain and weight loss. Yet another time where it's directly tested and it fails. <laughs> I found another study that will be especially relevant for those of you who are currently losing weight and want to know how adding nuts to your weight loss diet is going to affect your weight loss. And researchers had participants on a low calorie diet and then they supplemented one group with a complex carbohydrate, like a whole grain bread, for example. And they had the other group supplement with a bunch of almonds. And they found that the group that supplemented with nuts actually lost 60% more weight over 24 weeks than the group who got the complex carbohydrate. That's pretty crazy, but this is a great example of not all fats, because usually I talk about how on average carbs are better for weight loss than fat, but when it comes to whole unprocessed foods, it seems like nuts have an advantage over processed carbs. So it seems like whole plant-based fats are better for weight loss than some carbs, especially processed carbs. And now for peanuts, it seems like they might operate a little bit differently from tree nuts because for example, in one study, they found that adding 500 calories a day of peanuts to people's diets over eight weeks led to some weight gain, but it was only 10% of what they should have gained according to calories in versus calories out. So it seems like peanuts still kind of defy the laws of calories in, calories out, but they're not quite as good when it comes to not gaining weight as walnuts, almonds, and pecans. And some of you may be wondering, well, will this last after these 
8, 10, and 24 week diets. Like, is this a long term thing or will I start getting fat over time if I eat a ton of nuts every day? And it seems like the answer is it does extend to longer time periods. So a bunch of prospective studies and epidemiological studies have found that people who are losing weight and eat more nuts tend to lose weight faster. And people in general who eat more nuts tend to be skinnier. So at least we can say quite confidently that nuts are not gonna make you gain weight in the long term or in the short term. And now for what may be the most important question of all, nut butters. Unfortunately, there's only like one and a half studies done on this so far, but the results are really cool so far. So in one study, the researchers had participants add five 16 ounce jars of peanut butter to their diet over the course of four weeks. And on average, the participants actually ended up eating six and a half jars of peanut butter over these four weeks in addition to their usual diet. And just to crunch some numbers for you, to show you how crazy this is, they added 17,000 calories of peanut butter over the course of these four weeks, which added up to an extra 600 calories a day. And the researchers put them through body composition scans and wanted to see where all the gained weight would go when they gained all this weight. But the fun thing is, they did not gain a single gram of weight despite overeating 500 calories over their maintenance calorie expenditure per day of peanut butter. So that's pretty crazy. They did find that participants gained 0.7 kilograms of fat mass on average, so about a pound and a half increase in body fat, but they didn't have any significant decreases in any other kind of body mass that would make up for that increase to keep them at the same body weight. So the jury's kind of out on that one because these body composition scans are notoriously uh, full of errors and kind of inaccurate. So it could be that peanut butter increases your fat a little bit, but not nearly as much as you would expect. Or it could be that it doesn't make you gain any weight at all. But either way, it seems like it's not too bad. And as for the other half study looking at nut butters, the researchers looked at how well people absorbed calories coming from nuts versus nut butters. And they found that people could only absorb about 80% of whole nuts. So 20% of that nut energy was just lost, which we'll talk about more in a little bit. Whereas with nut butters, only four to 7% of those calories were lost. So it seems like if it's all the same to you to eat nuts versus nut butter, it's better to eat whole nuts. And this is a great example of why a whole foods plant-based diet works so well, because the less processing you do on your food, the less calories you absorb from it. And you still get a bunch of nutrients, but you end up losing a bunch of the calories in the process. Whereas with nut butters, it's already been processed a little bit for you. So your body has an easier time absorbing all those calories. And so the next big question is why? When explaining why carb overeating doesn't cause weight gain, we can turn to de novo lipogenesis, which is just a fancy way of saying it's really hard to turn carbs into fat. So usually when we overeat carbs, we just burn them off because it's really inefficient to store them as fat on our body. But nuts are high fat, so it's very easy to store those fats on our body, presumably. There are a few reasons that researchers think nuts are not leading to body weight gain in these studies. And the first, is one that really doesn't explain everything, but it can explain a little bit, I guess. And it's that when people are eating an extra 600 calories of peanut butter, for example, they compensate by eating a little bit less naturally of the rest of their diet. So in the last study I told you about, they were given 600 extra calories a day of peanut butter, but they only ended up overeating by 500 calories a day because they reduced the rest of their diet by about 100 calories. But that still can't explain why they're not gaining weight when overeating 500 calories, according to calories in versus calories out, at least. But one possibility, is that the, the food they're reducing might be foods that promote weight gain. So for example, when we give participants a ton of pecans, they might be eating 200 calories less of meat or dairy or processed fats like oil, which tend to promote weight gain. And so reducing those kinds of foods may help make up for the increased calorie intake from the nuts. Another possible reason for nuts not causing weight gain is that having a high ratio of healthy unsaturated fats to unhealthy saturated fats actually increases your resting metabolic rate. So specifically having a high ratio of plant-based fats to animal-based fats, so eating more plant-based fats and eating less animal-based fats, makes you burn more calories just by existing. And so for example, in a study of peanut overeating, researchers found that participants burned 11% more calories at rest than they did before being overfed on peanuts. So it's likely that when you eat a bunch of nuts, you're just burning a lot more of it off because you're oxidizing more fat. And the last reason, that is probably the biggest reason, is unfortunately something that keeps coming up in these overfeeding studies, and that is poop. <sighs> I 
it seems like when you are overfed on nuts, you actually lose a lot of that energy and a lot of those calories to the bathroom. In a pecan overfeeding study, they found that 20% of the calories from the pecans were just in their poop during those eight weeks. And to put that into even crazier numbers for you, when participants were not being overfed on pecans, they had an average of six grams of fat per day in their stool. But when they were overfed on about 400 calories of pecans, they had 25 grams per day of fat in their stool. So that is 225 calories of fat per day that they're just flushing down the toilet. So it's funny how much I talk to you guys about poop these days, but it is what it is. That seems to be the best explanation in a lot of these studies. So the main takeaway here is that A, nuts are healthy. We already knew that though. And B, eating nuts does not seem to cause weight gain. At least in the vast majority of cases, it does not cause weight gain. And in the rare times it does cause weight gain, it's a teeny tiny bit, and that's still an overeating by like 500 calories. So pretty much any normal amount of nut consumption that you wanna do is not gonna make you gain weight, which is pretty exciting news. And so now that we know this about nuts, we can add this to our little growing evidence pile on this channel for what types of foods tend to cause weight gain versus weight loss. So it looks like adding more carbs to your diet, especially unprocessed carbs, but even processed carbs like white bread actually actively makes you lose weight over time. And we saw the same thing with avocados where this whole plant-based, unprocessed fat source actually actively caused weight loss over time when you ate more avocados. I'll link those videos below. But here with nuts, we're seeing a case where, again, nuts defy calories in versus calories out, just like carbs and avocados, where you can overeat on them like crazy without really gaining weight. But it seems like nuts don't actually cause weight loss. It's cool to see the differences in all these different types of foods, but the moral of the story here is eat as many nuts as you please. If you enjoy eating them, if they make you feel satisfied, if they give you a bunch of dopamine, happiness in your brain like they do for me, then you should absolutely eat as many nuts as you want. But I wouldn't say try to force yourself to eat nuts or anything. I hope this answered your question, and thank you to all of those who asked me this question because this was a very fun topic to research. I learned a lot. I hope you did too. And thank you for being the reason that I do this research and make these videos. And if you want to help me make more videos like this, please like, share, and subscribe, and feel free to ask any other questions below that you might have. And if you really want to support me, just head on over to my Patreon. Even just a dollar or two a month makes a big difference to me. Thanks for watching, and see you next time! These are walnuts I picked from my trees. <laughs>